I swallowed my retainer, but I'll do a little stool fishing later. Looks like we're going to have to take more drastic measures. Peter, say you're not going to have sex with me. What? Just say it. I'm not going to have sex with you. Ah! Guys, let me out of here! Now, you said you would do whatever's necessary to help you lose weight. Please, let me out! Glenn, is it okay if I stay the night? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I can do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Not only did I not give away your book, I'm launching an investigation, and I'm gonna nail the guy who did it. Uh-huh. And maybe it's more than one guy. Maybe it's a ring. A deep ring I can only penetrate by nailing a bunch of guys. Wait, are you, are you still talking about my book? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's too many guys for me, and I have to bring in a private dick. Close the door on your way out, Brian. I need privacy to think about dicks for hire. Escalate me. Oh, oh, uh, stop, wait. I want Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson back. Sorry, Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson is in the loo. Oh, bring back that southern guy. Sorry, I'm busy watching Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson use the john. Can I talk to someone else? Literally anyone? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I was fired by Aflac for no reason. Well, there, there was some reason. Evelyn? Evelyn? Then I said, ain't that the punchline to it? It looks like somebody's mom died or, or something. I don't know. You, you, this, you, you'll take care of this, right? Whoever's in there definitely shouldn't be. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. Oh my god, it's bigger than you! <laughs> We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. I tell you one thing, it's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Oh my god, this is worse. I feel amazing! Like a bride on his wedding day! At last, my love has come along. Right here in Italy. Peter, those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Well, if we're going to be Italian, I guess we should stop murdering our brothers. Where are you at? You break my heart, Chris. You break my heart. <laughs> Hey, Bon, you busy? Should I get the pump? Oh, no need. Let's do this! Lois Griffin, you are adding spice to that marriage. Wow, look at me, making a difference for those in need. Would you like to add a dollar to your bill to fight cancer? No, I gave a disabled guy an erection. Welcome to the inner vault. Penile identification required. Let me handle this. That's amazing! How the hell did you match it? Oh, I didn't match the shape. I just stuck it in there and broke it. Having a little trouble this morning? No, no, I'm doing great. Look, I already got Stewie and Brian changed. Ow. I can't believe Peter's lost his voice. How's he gonna insult Meg now? Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but he brought a whiteboard. <laughs> Meg's got the ball. Peter, quick, write something mean. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all the... Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Trust me. I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute. Teenagers don't have wheelchairs. No! <laughs> 
Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Oh, yeah. Boom. You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. Donkey Kong sucks. I could build the same game on our house. Donkey Kong house? Sorry I put you in a dress, Stewie. We needed a damsel. Hey, do I look upset? Barrel! 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 What is all this noise? I'm trying to buy everything on Amazon in here. Barrel! Ah, my foot! Oh, I think it's broken. Uh-oh, next level. Eh-eh, eh-eh, eh-eh. Pumpkin Spice. Sounds like a reject from a female British pop band. Quit tossing your scarf over your shoulder to punctuate your jokes. You know what, Peter? I like me. Look, guess your weight. With a line that long, I'll guess my own weight. 30 minutes. Oh, see you in a few. Got scarfed up. Look out! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh man, Joe is gonna be so pissed! Thank god all we hit were those trash cans. Oh my god! Oscar! Uh, tell my ex-wife to go herself. Very on brand. Right up to the end. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Wow, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't, don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Yeah, after a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Lighting his cigar right above... Joey, help! It hurts! Reverse the pill! Let me die! Ooh, I wish I could, but the pills were in the house, so... Yeah. Stewie! 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 Hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the f starts a conversation like that? I just sat down! Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. I'm your mother. I can feel your lies in my ovaries. The doctor said those were cysts. From your lies? They're not gonna talk, Lois. I say we hook them up to the lie detector. Peter, that's not a lie detector. That's a ride-on sex machine. It is? Well, it got me to sing like a bird. Stop rolling it into rooms! We never know what you're gonna do. It's usually silly or dangerous, but it's also kinda awesome. Yeah. Remember when he had tiny arms for like three months? Or when you brought home that horse. Or that falcon. Or that parrot. Lot of illegal animals. Or when that little guy lived in his neck. What the hell was that? Every few years he fights a giant chicken and destroys a city. No one's named a good thing yet. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. No, no, not all right. Hey, where's dad? He said he was going to help me with my science fair project. Up here, kids. Thoughts? We're going to call you Mr. Skin. Um, uh, really? Uh, well, uh, we'll call you something else. Really loco unless I shivved someone, and you're the one guy without gang protection, so... Ah! 
sorry, Quagmire. As a not cop, I have to shiv a guy in the Latin gang and then blame it on Cleveland. Ah! Oh! Oh! No one made me do this. I'm just sick of your overt racism. Guys, guys, stop. Stop. Look at us. We're shiving each other on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no one shiv Cleveland. Ah! But what are we doing? One of the perks of a cross-country trip is stopping for a meal and meeting the friendly folks who make up the heart and soul of our country. Hello, we're from the Northeast. Well, there's two things you can do from here. Break it off or go full scumbag. If you're interested in going scumbag, I sell a starter kit. It includes a second phone, fake addresses, and some golf shirts. I don't golf. Nobody does. Golf was invented purely so husbands can cheat on their wives. A six-hour game in a completely different town where you need special shirts? I, I don't think so. How fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Ow, ow. This family is what's best for Anna Lee. This is her home now. I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you, got, a, you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front. Tony, come back! Don't test me, Starling. A census taker did that once, and I ate his liver with dry Cheerios and a mashed up banana. You can't go through here. It's only for people who work for Miss Ryan. You have to let me through. I'm Ed Sheeran. You're not Ed Sheeran. You're a weird looking baby with an English accent. <gasps> oh my god. Right this way, Mr. Sheeran. What's going on? Oh. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a couple hours. You smoke? Hey, you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> All right, they're probably holding up a low deck. You take the right side, I'll take the left. You're gonna need this. What? I I've, I've never killed anybody before. Relax, they're Arabs. People will still be rooting for you. Hey! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, this is like a video game. Huh, I'm kind of good at this. Daddy, I saw a lost Tatum. You what? I swear it was an accident. Don't worry, Lois. We'll split up and look for her. On it. Damn it, Chris. Now that's going to be in our Fox promo. Sorry, Sorry Dad. Dad. Tonight on Fox, Chris Griffin meets... Chris Griffin? Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. If I ever see you anywhere near my house, I'll blow your head off! Now lay there and die, you piece of crap! 
jury duty is an important cornerstone in our democratic society. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. So, how long you been in beauty school? Two months. Well, tonight we're doing facials. Badass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. The most random dream. Peter, you wanted to go swimming in our pool, which of course we don't have. Uh-huh. You had this ridiculously giant towel. Uh-huh. Oh, and get this, it had Nemo on it. Oh, boy, that, that, is, that is some dream. And he was wearing giant sunglasses. Oh, and we had cats for some reason. Uh-huh. Yep, I backed up all the way into the show before us. Wife talking about her dream. Homer, you've got company. Why are there two sets of prices? One's the Emmy winner discount. Ah. Black coffee and toast, please. Glenn Griffin, uh, I'm here to pick up my son Peter for a ball game. Uh, doctor's appointment? Peter is your son? That is affirmative. Uh, because you look a lot more like that child over there. Daddy? Oh, God! here, right? No, just me. Oh, thank God. You want to have unprotected sex? I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Relation ...of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. <laughs> Great chicken smells funny. Be right up, babe. Oh man, this is worse than <laughs> way to kill two birds with one stone. Like this. The key to that, Lois, is big rock, small birds. Oh, and I also figured out how to achieve two goals with one action. Oh no. <laughs> what? I didn't know you worked out at this gym, too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. Nice job. Let's get you a rub down. Listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. Lois, I've hired some 1980s black breakdancers to do their routine on your stomach. Peter, come on. I'm having this baby, and that's the end of it. But, Lois, if they do it good enough, they'll save the rec center from being torn down and replaced by some mall. Ozone, turbo, do your thing. Oh, no. Lois, those are 90s black guys. Those aren't 80s black guys at all. Run! We're here to dance for the kids. Run, 80s black guys. You're no match for the 90s black guys. <gasps> My Luna bar for women. Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. So now it's 2 a.m., the bars are closed, and we are all still quite divorced. Can you provide us with more alcohol? Ah. Uh. I don't know. Let me check the rules. Oh. 
Ah, I don't know why they wrote the card that way. Are you sure you can't let us in? I'll show you a picture of a naked student. That's my son. Oh, well, I have others. Uh, no, that's him again. Oh, oh, that's also him. Okay, these are all crisp. Okay, that was weird. That was weird, right? Oh, my God, so weird. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm going to be kicking butts and taking names. And then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm going to whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? My mama always said life was like a box of good and plenty. Most people just throw it away. We paid a lot of money for that house, and taking the ass end of a shampoo bottle barely makes a dent into their hole. There. Definitive proof that your mother always describes big things as being smaller than they are. Did you hear that, Chris? We've all seen it, Dad. Straight flush. You got a strip. What about tonight? What? Oh, did you say I'm never gonna get out of here? No, I was telling my horse to get naked. Oh. You could get a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Get the hair transplant. Come back to us. You're right. This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go. That's pretty gross. Anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. You do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing it. Okay, now to loudly watch this Aaron Sorkin masterclass. Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin. I've been paid a lot of money to give you false hope about your ridiculous dream. Shipping reports filled out by 5 o'clock today. Shut up, Kyle. I'm Peter Griffin. I'm a dorky, fat numbnuts. Kyle, I said shut up. You're a poop nose. Boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. <gasps> Holy crap, what happened? Well, I think we simply found your true height. Before years of poor posture and wear and tear crushed your spirit and your spine. Wow. Mr. Griffin, let's discuss risk factors. Do you lead a lifestyle that's sedentary? Pet sedentary? I'm saying you need to strengthen your core. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me. Goodbye, terrible women. What's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. No! No, Daddy! 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 I didn't even tell him. He just does not like to be touched. He sees me as a woman. Oh no, this is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time.
From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Hmm. Yeah. Len, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you talk to Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. Go ahead, Lewis. Do it. Hey, baby. How'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Ah, oh, never mind. Well, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk! Oh, hey, baby. You want to go somewhere? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. To win this game. Wait for someone else to win and steal his card. G27. Bingo! It's go time. What do we do? Sneak up behind him? No, nope, he's got cataracts. Follow my lead. <laughs> Bingo, bitches! Bingo. In a fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> like the movie The Ring. Awesome. Ah! Come back here, you. Ah! Giggity, giggity, crabbity, giggity. But in this universe, Christianity never existed, which means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. Hey, look, there's Quagmire. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Here's your baby. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. How is that possible? I don't know, but I better make it look like there was a struggle. Someone punched me in the face. I'm a good friend to you. They're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? Hey, boo boo, let's see what we got in this picnic basket. <laughs> Tell the other bears what you just saw. Hey, bud, how was Florida? But it's just a gravy they put on french fries. Stewie, you've taken this mini fridge thing too far. I'm moving this thing out of here. Oh, be careful, Pry. Not a good idea. You don't want to piss off Guy. Yesterday, he crow hopped a dip tin and knocked a guy out. Oh, wow, did he really? Well, now I'm so very scared of Guy. Oh, ho, ho, Guy. C'est fout un grand lancé. Je crois qu'il est mort, eh? England wife can get. Look, if I could do it all over again, I'd save her. Because now I know it was a dolphin and there was no real danger. Peter, don't you see? We gotta make you the hero again. Wait, say that again. We gotta make you the hero again. Yep, yeah, you got weird teeth. Wait, what did you say before about the hero thing? I said we gotta make Peter the hero. All right, he does have weird teeth. I just have to show Lois I can still be her hero. That's exactly what I was saying. I just want to swing by the Army Recruiting Center and give a piece of my mind to that jerk who tried to brainwash Chris. We are going to be so late. I'm not going to have a partner. I'm going to have to be partners with a teacher. It's just wrong for the military to mess with kids' minds. They're all going to wind up in therapy like Peter was.
Every time my daughter opens her mouth, I just want to punch her in the face. She's really annoying. Uh-huh. All right, let's explore that. What the hell's wrong with you? Your skin's, like, moving around or something. I believe I'm having some sort of seizure. I just want to swing by the Army Recruiting Center.